Alec, welcome. We're about to embark on a perilous journey into Here a indeed. new movie series, all right? A new film series. Are we are we announcing in the title what this film series is going to be? No, or we're not. Are we teasing it? Ooh, okay. We're teasing it. We're teasing. We're here to tell them. It's going to be an unveiling okay. right here. Very cool. All right. So previously we've done Star Wars and The mm -hmm. Godfather, our movie mm -hmm. series. One was real long, Star Wars. Mm -hmm. The Godfather was a nice short one. But we always want to come back to doing movie series. It's a cool thing to do where we get to go through everyone chrono chronologically. And, you know, see how it... Because then for that period of time, we're just we're into that world whatever it is yeah. and you're just like consumed by it so it's not like we, we wait a few months between each movie it's like you're just regularly going through it yeah our boys uh our friends our boys our boys over at box office bliss i mean i just wanted the alliteration there but our friends uh zach and uh frantic josh i am zach our friends rusty and frantic Sorry. josh I'm so Drunk. tired. I'm so tired. Drinking on the job is crazy, but you're a little loopy too. It's crazy. I swear. Anyway. <laughs> Never seen anything quite like it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, uh, Rusty and Frantic, Josh, yes, they have a <laughs> podcast called Box Office Bliss where they do a similar thing. They were they were directly yeah. inspired by us, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes, we can take said. complete and utter credit. I'm oh, sure did they, they actually say no, that? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, th I don't think they said that at all. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just... They got complete inspiration from us. They actually look up to us. <laughs> so <laughs> We're basically their heroes is what you're saying. So yeah. They're doing the Fast and the Furious series, so we're going to do the same thing, actually. We're going to do that one. No, we're uh, not. <laughs> We do want, I mean, Some we have point. posited that. We've talked about this a lot, actually, mm -hmm. trying to figure out what, what we want to do and when we want to do it. Yeah. That's one of the series that's possibly on the table in the future, but uh, that's not what we're going with this time. We're actually going with something that Zach had to do a lot of convincing to me to, to do. Well, ultimately, there's like a bucket list of like, these are the essential movie series you need to get to. And we got The Godfather, we got this Star Wars, nice. and this, this one was up there, and we knew no, it needed it to be done. It was it was almost like a necessity, you know? No, but I, I still uh -huh. agreed. Because <laughs> I do, honestly, I've seen only, I think I've seen more than two, but I only actually very, I, like, my memory of several other movies later on in this franchise is very fuzzy. Mm -hmm. um, if non-existent at all uh, I may have seen only like bits and pieces of a couple of them mm -hmm. I know for a fact that I've only seen the first two and I haven't seen anything past that and uh, I don't really like the series very much at all don't have a very fun no, it is critically acclaimed it's uh, universally beloved some of some is, some is universally <laughs> some of the films are universally acclaimed some of them are are beloved <laughs> um, everyone loves it you everyone, know it you know people, i'm sure you've all guessed it by now yeah um, you probably have if you know me talking about this subject no it is shrek yes yes it shrek is. we're going through every shrek movie baby we're talking yeah. shrek shrek 2 gonna... shrek the third shrek forever after puss in boots shrek the musical and every shrek short ever created that's that one's probably gonna legitimately like it's probably going to cause me to do exactly what I've been doing all night long and just, like, losing it in fits of laughter. Mm -hmm. Not because it's actually funny, but because I'm just losing my mind. But, uh, you, yeah, you might wipe it from your memory and just forget it ever yeah, happened. Just forget it ever happened, yeah. Uh, I mean, so, Shrek, honestly, I, I wanted to, to try to take a look at this at Fresh Eyes. It's been a long time since I've really watched any of the films. It's probably been since I was, like, a kid when I saw Shrek 2. Shrek 1... Maybe like six or seven years ago, Shrek the Musical was a lot more recent. Well, that was like still like five years ago, I would say. And the other ones, nothing. I haven't seen any of those. So yeah, did I mention Shrek the Musical in that lineup? You did. Okay. Yeah. You did. That's the one that I haven't seen, and I haven't seen the shorts or most of the shorts. But and, I have and, seen and every I, other one. <laughs> and Shrek the Musical is actually the thing that I probably have the most positive things to say about. So mm. um, I actually really have enjoyed. I enjoyed Shrek the Musical quite a lot, uh, a lot more than I was expecting to. So. Um, so, so I'm really excited to, to bring that to, to the table. You're here. bringing a generally negative, a generally negative five, but like I, I want to try to give I want to try to give them a fair shake. 
yeah. um, as much as I can because I've been very critical of Shrek, Shrek 2. Um, just my memories of Shrek 2. It, I'm still kind of bitter because in elementary school I was made fun of because I went and saw Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban instead of going to see Shrek 2. Um, and, we all know yeah. and we all know what the better movie was at, in the end. Um, mm, I need a hero. Yes, yeah. we know yes. it. Yep. Uh, yeah, we all love it. That's so great. I haven't watched Shrek in years, honestly, either. So it'll be fresh for me. You know, I have good memories of Shrek 2. I mean, I loved Shrek 2 growing up. You Shrek watched, the you... third is my most watched movie ever. I was going to say, like, you watched that movie as much as I probably saw Empire Strikes Back for fairly similar Very, reasons. R- similar reasons, really? My reasons are that my uh, DVD player stopped <laughs> working and the Shrek the Third. Oh, mine was, was I only had, that's all I really had to watch, so. Yeah, well, yeah. Shrek, like, it's a little TV at the end of my bed and I had a little yeah. DVD player that I had Shrek the Third in there, but then I had a problem where it wouldn't eject and, like,. And then the one time I got it to eject, it wouldn't play things again. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to play Shrek the Third every it night only, forever. It would, it would only <laughs> ever play Shrek the Third? It wouldn't play anything else but that movie? I, I forget what it was exactly, but then it ultimately ended up like, I couldn't eject it at all. So I was just okay. like was stuck playing it because I didn't want to risk it not working. It's, it's my Shrek the Third TV, all right? It's my, I, everyone <laughs> yeah. has their, their – the, that's the family TV and then the Shrek the Third TV. So it was just on all the time. Like every night it was Shrek the Third. <laughs> Help you fall for asleep a while kind of thing. and yeah i don't even remember like that much specifically about it which is crazy but wow. it was like, very hard. young but yeah something like this is something that will be interesting to look take a critical eye at just like the mm. movies like you know ones i grew up with like cars that you never really look at in a critical way it's just kind of mm. you remember them have some nostalgia for like uh, being a kid watching them you know but to take a critical a, eye is a whole different story. I grew up a snob, so I, uh, I mean, I, I, I was always a, I was always a dick. <laughs> so, no, I mean, um, I actually really liked the original Shrek. So, mm-hmm. um, I, I know I, I talked down on the original Shrek as well, even though I do enjoy the film. Um, I'm interested in seeing what I think about it now. Um, and I, honestly, the later movies, uh, they just get kind of a bad rap. I think they just seem really stupid and uninspired if they're anything like the second one, but I don't know. I'm only taking that off of my perception, so I don't I don't actually know, having not really watched them. So I'm very interested in what comes of this. I, 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 yeah, maybe maybe you'll see a transformed Alec, a new By the end, you're a huge Shrek Shrek's fan. Shrek's Alec, awesome. a big Shrek <laughs> fan, Alec. Shrek, I don't think because I remember Shrek Forever After. I watched that in theaters. Like I watched mm-hmm. most of these in theaters. I remember watching in theaters and being like, wow, that was really wild. Like, they went crazy with it, but I still mm. liked it. Mm. It just wasn't amazing. But I was, I don't remember how young I was at the time, but. I start, I remember, like, I did, even though I saw Prisoner of Azkaban first, I did go and see Shrek 2 mm-hmm. in theaters, and I remember liking it, I think, uh, because then we rented it on DVD, and they had that, like, sh- the, the far far away idol thing on the bonus dvd thing i remember that fondly yep i i i enjoyed it i enjoyed that quite a bit i thought it was very funny and then looking back on the movie i was like oh (laughs) it was kind of weird because it was a very i was a very big american idol fan at the time and it was just like they had simon cowell yes i was like just there okay but yeah that will be a part of the shrek uh, mega short special as we is this new yes Uh, all right shrek the musical it will be fun i it te- yeah. I've watched like a couple minutes of it. It's kind of terrifying to me that <laughs> he just looks terrifying. terrifying. But he does look I'm terrifying. Into it. Yeah, no, I it's good. I'm no, up for I it. it. So, but yeah, we're looking at uh, basically a two month venture here into the world of yeah. Shrek. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm dreading it, <laughs> but I kind of am, I I'm looking forward to it though. Honestly, it's yeah, it's like, gonna be it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. You know, once you take a, a close eye on movies, you come out with a, either a new level of appreciation or a, a new level of not of the opposite. But there's still <laughs> things that stand out. You know, yeah. You watching them fresh, it's like. Yeah, I mean, I want to. I want to talk about and deep dive on these movies. I think it'll be fun. So. Because who does that? Who really does that with Shrek? You know. Yeah. Who <laughs> really? Who really does? I'm. I'm sure animation critics and crap on YouTube. You know mm-hmm. your 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 nostalgia critics and such. I don't understand why it does this. <laughs> it, 
it's like that, you know. So. And there's ten shorts, ten. They really went all out with that Shrek. I did see one of the Christmas specials, and I hated it. Deck the halls. Yeah, Shrek the halls. Yes. Shrek the halls. Yes. I think I saw Shrek the halls, and I hated it. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, they didn't sound. They didn't look great. Like, yeah. <laughs> the concepts of like just ogres celebrating Christmas doesn't really so do much weird. for me. Yeah. They really like sold out with the uh, Shrek. I feel like, yeah. like they got a, a treasure trove. Like this guy, er, the kids love him. The kids love kids, Shrek the and the donkey. Love, love that Mike Myers. They and love Puss him. Puss in Boots. They're gonna put they, him everywhere. Mike, Mike Myers. You know, Mike Myers is the the hit of Wayne's World. We we, we want just Wayne's. You know, the kids love Wayne's World these <laughs> days. So we just really want to push our Wayne's World guy. That's that's what we really want. No, you know, Chris Farley was uh, actually originally gonna be Shrek. Hmm. So. <laughs> but yeah. you can't imagine anyone but the good old Mike Myers voice for Shrek. I could, and it's sad because I think Chris <laughs> Farley would have been wonderful. Dude. I think Mike Myers is honestly does a wonderful job. So <laughs> we're like onions are like ogres. Yeah, they have layers. That was a yeah, classic layers. line. That's the most iconic Shrek line. Everybody would always. Everyone. I always still hear voice. people saying that. They have layers. Yeah. The onions are like ogres. Yeah. But also, I love the Shrek 2 game on GameCube. So, that was an, another thing I treasured as a growing up. Shrek the third on Wii, not as good. All right. <laughs> so, come back next week where we'll talk about Shrek. Yeah, we'll Shrek it where up. Where it all started. Know? Get Shrek. And then us. we'll talk about, at the end of it all, we'll talk about Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Well, we have to, I mean, we have to bring up the memes, you know, the Shrek memes. That was such a big part of internet culture for a while. It was, it was weird. Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life in... videos, they did three of them. That was when I was in first college. That was, in co- that was when I was in college, and it was weird. It was weird. Yeah. Anyway. So it's, it'll be join interesting. Us, join us next week as we begin our venture mm-hmm. with Sh- the original Shrek from 2001. Uh, the first film to win Best Picture, Best Animated Feature uh, at the Academy Awards, uh, which is really unfortunate if you ask me. But sounds like a ten out of ten movie almost. Yeah, it's, it kind of it kind of was beloved. You know, it was kind of a smash hit, a smash commercial hit, and made DreamWorks a big a big deal. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> it's true. Zach, where should the fine watchers of this go? What should they go watch after they see this? They maybe they're intrigued by film series. What what do you think they? They should go check out. Yeah, they might want to watch a film series. So I would recommend they go watch our review of Blood Rain, the game. All right? Okay. Go check yeah, it yeah. out. Yeah, go, go see it. <laughs> I'm that expecting be, be just random. as good quality from Shrek. All right? I hope Shrek's a little better than Blood Rain. Uh, Blood Rain movie series coming next. I, That'll be great. I, I know in an interview Laura Bailey was having where she talked about embarrassing roles that she was unfortunately had to take early on in her career to pay the bills. I'm like almost 95% sure that she was referring to blood rain when she was she blood rain. Yes. Oh, well, she was the voice or yes. Yeah. BAFTA award winning. Yeah. 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 Laura Bailey. It was blood rain. So that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Shrek. We're in for a Shrek and a Shrekening. A Shreking. A Shrek. <laughs> The Shrekening. That's what I <laughs> that's that's what this is, really. The Shrekening. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Wow. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our podcast feed. Like the video. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Tarkaron T W O.